Welcome back, yogis. Today's class will be a class you can do anywhere. So if you don't have a yoga mat, this is perfect. I won't be using a yoga mat today. So if you're in the kitchen waiting for noodles to boil or you're in a hotel room, this is a great class. So let's get started. Bring your feet about six inches wide. So toes in front of the heels, like a capital letter H. Bring your shoulder blades up and back. Tuck your tailbone under. Lift your arms up, palms touch above our head. And bring them to heart center. Arms down by our side. Let's start with some neck rolls. So going in either direction. Just rolling one way. Connecting with your breath here. Breathing in the nose. And out through the nose. Go ahead, change direction. You can close your eyes or open them. I like to have my eyes closed. <laughs> and on your next inhale, stop in the center. Keep your legs as they are, but lift your kneecaps up your thighs. So contract your legs. Keep that tailbone tucked under so your core is contracted. Arms lift up, palms touch. Interlace the fingers. Release the pointer finger. Thumbs are crossed. Lift up out of the waist so like you're trying to touch the ceiling or sky, wherever you are. Push your hips forward. Upper body leans back in an absolute straight line. Start to bend the body towards the right, opening up the left hip. Again, keeping the legs nice and strong. So in Hatha Yoga, which is the style of vinyasa, you use strength to stretch. So we're not relying on our flexibility that we already have. We're stretching and strengthening simultaneously. So feel all your muscles contracted as you come down a little bit further. Inhale, come up towards the center. We reach up again and start to bend towards the left, opening up the right side body. So then a deep stretch all along the side. Open up your chest a little bit more. Come down. Inhale, come up towards the center. Drop your head back, keep your arms there. Lift your arms up again and start to draw a line along the ceiling or sky so you find a nice back bend here. Don't go too crazy, just opening up, still getting the spine warm. Look back. Inhale, breathing, come up. Keep the arms as they are. Bend into the knees if needed and start to dive forward so your hands can touch the mat. So if you are like, well, I can't touch my toes, knees are bent here, so your chest is resting on the knees. So legs are straight. If you're ready to straighten your legs, go ahead and do that, but want to make sure you keep your back flat. So you can bring your hands to your shins ankles or floor but goal is that the back is flat while we're bending and we're not hyper extending the knees our legs are locked so knee and ankle all in one line inhale breathing come up flat back palms touch above our head look up dive forward with those strong straight legs going to your edge inhale come up palms touch exhale Dive forward, hands plant. Last one, inhale, come up, palms touch. And go ahead, sit your hips back, arms reach out like you're celebrating something. Sit into your chair pose. Tailbone still tucked under here, so your glutes are nice and engaged. And on your next inhale, start to shift the weight into the left foot and step your right foot back. High crescent, arms reach up like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Bend generously into that left knee. Inhale, left arm reaches back and right arm reaches forward for a twist. Pull your upper body more towards center. Reach that left arm back. And go ahead, windmill the left and right hand down to frame your left foot. And we can 
step back to plank. I'll turn to the side. Plank. Chaturanga. So that half push up. Elbows squeeze into the ribcage. Up dog. Only palms and tops of the feet are on the ground. And exhale for down dog. Oh, so first down dog, go ahead and pedal it out if you need. So right and left, sometimes people call this walking the dog. <laughs> Look forward and just baby toe your way up to the top by your hands. I was gonna say top of the mat, but <laughs> we're not on a mat today. Come up flat back, palms touch above our head and diving forward, hands plant. Sit the hips back, arms reach up, chair, find your tailbone tuck so your back is somewhat flat. There's a small arch, reach up. Stay here, shift the weight into your right foot and reach the left foot back. High crescent, arms are reaching straight up now. And on your next inhale, left arm comes forward, right arm back, twist. Try to get this torso centered with the legs. And windmill the hands down to frame that foot. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, and exhale, down dog. All right. <laughs> so we're in our down dog. Start to look forward. Raise the right foot up and step it in between the hands. So low lunge when our knee is off the ground. We're going to rise up, crescent, and take you a little bit deeper. So hands come to heart center. Lean your chest out and twist your left elbow to right knee. Push the knee and elbow into one another to open up your chest and twist your belly a little bit deeper. Look up. Back leg is your anchor so it's strong and contracted. Go ahead, come up. Raise the upper body up. Straighten the front leg. Square the feet so they're parallel. Arms reach. Star pose. Right toes turn out, left arm is back, right arms forward, coming into triangle pose. Coming down with that flat back, right hand down, left arm up. Push your left arm back to open up your chest. Gaze is up. Left arm comes over the ear, frames your foot. Step back to down dog. And go ahead and vinyasa plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Left leg rises and steps in between the hands. Low lunge, getting into that left hip a little bit. Back leg is straight and strong, starts to lift up for that high crescent. Lifting up out of our waist with the hands. Go ahead, bring the hands to prayer. Bring the chest forward and hook the right elbow with left knee. Press elbow and knee into one another to twist your body open. If you're having trouble balancing, make sure your back leg is contracted all the way up to the glute. Look up, focus on something that's not moving. <laughs> If you can. <laughs> Inhale, breathing. Come up. Straighten the leg. Parallel the feet. Reach up. Star pose. Left toes turn out. Triangle. Left arm down. Right arm up. Push that right arm back to open up your chest. Right arm reaches over the ear to frame our left foot. And vinyasa, which is our plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. 
So go ahead and step your right foot forward. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, I'm just stepping my right foot forward so I can face you. Legs are wide. Find a half lift. So half lift, back is flat, parallel with the floor. Inhale, weights in the toes. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Start to turn towards the front of your spot. So your right knee is bent, left leg is spiked up, and just left foot meets the right for a forward fold. Rise all the way up. Palms touch, back at heart center. So we'll take a back bend and a twist and we will close. We're gonna take dancer's pose and dancing Shiva. So for dancer's pose, bring your palm out, palm facing up. Don't change the palm. Catch a hold of your right foot to the inside of the right ankle. Left arm reaches up. So right here, you're already in a back bend. If this is a lot, just stay here. If you want more, start to kick your hand and foot into one another. Dive forward. So you make like a human bow here. You can bring your chest down parallel to the ground. Bottom leg is contracted. Kick a little bit more if you can, come down. Inhale, come up, stop here. Find your balance. We're still balancing on our left leg. Hands come to heart center. Float the right knee into the chest. Left arm to the right knee. Right arm reaches back for a twist. I know your left leg is burning, you got it. Mine's burning too. Back center, right can meet the left. And let's do that again on the left side. So left hand faces up. Don't change the way the palm's facing, just catch a hold of the inside of the left ankle. Right arm reaches up. Feel free to stay here or kick the foot and hand into one another and dive forward so your chest comes parallel with the floor. Now that's the goal. You just get as far as you can to the best of your ability and you'll get all the benefits. Kick a little bit harder. That will help you balance. Inhale, come up. Float that left knee to chest, hands at prayer, right hand to left knee, left arm reaches back, open up your chest, find a nice deep twist here. My heart is racing from those back bends. Coming back center, go ahead and reach the hands up over the head, palms touch, take a nice deep inhale, and audibly exhale as you bring your hands to heart center. Bow your head forward. Namaste, yogis. Thank you for practicing with me. If you like this class, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you back soon.